Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Wendy, and we're playing The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Um, so where we left off was the two witness testimonies that we heard. Um, we already found one inconsistency, but apparently they have more to say. So let's check it out. Your father is about to quell the enemy. Watch and learn, my boy. Okay, here's... <laughs> that baby's so cute. The true culprit. Even if what I say wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes. Pointing his gun at the Ford man, he was... That young lad in black. That much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Okay. Indeed. Alone, he was. The Englishman. Dining all by himself. Okay. Well, we know that's not true. <laughs> Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. <laughs> that's really cute. Hmm. These yes. testimonies are certainly- oh! <laughs> that's- that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman! There was a young woman at his table! You must have seen her! Everyone there must have seen her! Attention. Uh, if you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime council? Indeed. Of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there's only one playset. Oh yeah, that's hard to dispute, I guess. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. This doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. Nice. A bottle of carbonated water and a steak lunch can be seen on the victim's table. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. It's because they're trying to hide it. The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I, I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. Thinking face. <laughs> it would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. Okay, no. Uh, the witness testimonies we have just heard leave no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takatsuchi Auchi, will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires is an honor. <laughs> How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Yeah, like... Stand tall, Ryunosuke. It's not over yet. Oh, What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it, to draw the truth, in your cross-examination. I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses, but make it quick, understood? Rules can be so unbending at times. <laughs> oh, cross-examination, this is really serious. Okay, what do we do? Okay, even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Uh, okay. 
Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young lad in black. That much I myself did see. E we might need to press that too. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman, over and out. I don't know what else to do about it. <laughs> okay, what do you think, Ryunosuke? Um, what's the matter? I can't find anything. I can't find a clear discrepancy anywhere. I'm done for. I can't win this trial. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, the first thing to do is calm down. You can't expect witness statements to be full of holes every time. So just take your time and try to tease more information out of them first. What do you mean? You can choose to either press or present against each of the witness statements. If a witness is saying something you're suspicious about, press him on it with L. Okay. With a little luck, you may get more details, which could prove to be crucial. Right, I see. The important point is, there's no sense in holding back. If anything even slightly jars with you, press the witnesses on it and press them hard. Alright, got it. I'll press them like blocks of tofu. <laughs> the professor wasn't alone in the restaurant, I'm sure of it. In one way or another, this cross-examination is going to prove I'm right. It's time to press them for all they're worth. My fate depends on it. Okay. This is serious. Okay. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that much I... Okay, well, we won't press that. A visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only person- Okay, let's try yes! pressing that one. You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. As you have been at pains to point out time and again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. If only there had been more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know, of course the right place was almost empty. It's what you'd expect. Certainly. 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. <laughs> okay. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day, and why he was alone. Yes. There was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, counsel? It is a medical report card, your excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hot, hot, hotta. Hotta clinic. Yes, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm, the very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder, what do you think? I don't know what I think. Well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. <laughs> Remember, you can request for it to be entered in the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's metal medical report card to be- Yeah! Ask. Yes. Yes! <laughs> if I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? <gasps> oh... <laughs> The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Objection. Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. That's right? Yeah, that's right! You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. 
that's right. <laughs> Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's a most disturbing trend. <laughs> what does that mean? Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. Nice. Okay, what we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. Okay, let's maybe... Can we look at the record? No. You can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like. The day, day festival already for you. What? <laughs> or perhaps you'd forgotten that these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate... Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Korekuta-san. Okay, indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Uh, should we press him? Let's see what other stuff we have. Okay, the photograph. The... Uh, let's try to examine that. Okay. Magnifying glass? Whoa, it's so magnified. What does that even mean? I don't even know what it says. Okay, let's go back. Let's look at this. Um, clearly can't see anyone else. He's also eating a steak? I don't know. Let's go back. Okay, let's look at this medical report card. Oh, we can't even look at it. Oh no. Uh, let's see this next one. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Okay, let's try pressing him because clearly yes. he's not telling the truth. So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone? Yeah, no you didn't. <sighs> Forgive me for the position I place you in. So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget the incon incontestable evidence we have to support their statements as well. As can clearly be seen, there is only a single beefsteak on the victim's table. A meal for one. Hmm. No. The antiques dealer, the sergeant, and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Okay, let's think. No one other than the black uniform cadet. No, like anyone could have. It could have been the waiter. Okay, let's try pressing yes. this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion is just not possible. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately for you, defended Narahono, it's it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said the vic that the victim was alone. Yeah, but he was like in the like kitchen, right? You are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But if such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. Okay. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. Oh, uh, let's see. 
I wonder if that looks different. No, it's about the same. Let's go back, okay. Let's look at the report. No, it doesn't look like... I wonder if there's anything on the back. He was really nervous about this earlier, right? Oh, it looks like... It looks like there's extra writings on it that was like erased, right? Or maybe that's the back of the card. I can't really tell. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay, it's a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. <laughs> Even he's like kind of stumped. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, is he gonna help me now? Excellent work, Rinosuke. We've gleaned some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discre discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence, so perhaps we should examine it a little more de in a little more detail. Okay, let's see. Can we do it now? No, we have to wait. Okay. How exactly? <laughs> You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Press A and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. Use... Uh, Right, right in a long stick. Right stick. <laughs> oh, we can turn it. <gasps> Here we go. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using left analog stick. Oh yeah, we can serve it. You can move the crosshairs around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. Okay. Oh, if the crosshairs start to pulsate, press A to investigate further. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learned by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay, can we do it now? No. <laughs> I need to use right left and A to inspect any areas of evidence that look suspicious. Okay, here we go. Uh, so... That? It says Hota Clinic on this medical report card. I hate clinics almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life. And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. Bro, I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Most people would give their right arm to have had only one cold in their whole life. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people for illnesses like that. Let's keep, let's keep looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Okay, let's see. Uh, whoa, whoa, this is weird. Okay. Oh, it's a dentist. Wait, is he a dentist? Okay, let's look inside. Whoa. Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anest anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? <gasps> he wouldn't eat steak then. It would seem so. Just before the incident, he'd had a ba bad tooth removed. Perhaps they use laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Ah, uh, there's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. There we go. 
Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Hell yes, there we go. With this new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Boom! Okay, even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Okay, not that. Uh, yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young lad in black. That much I myself did see. Uh, furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Okay. Should we present it there? Wait, let's see. What else? What was the last thing? Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. It has to be this one. Okay, we're gonna present this. A record of dental work. On the day of the murder, the victim had undergone dental treatment and been prohibited from eating or drinking anything but water. There we go. Okay. It's gotta be this. Wait, did I? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It's this. Yes! Um, well, I think, um, about what are you wittering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Yeah, that's right, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Ryunosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out, when you raised your hands straight up like that, so purposefully. <laughs> you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Is he in love with us, or...? <laughs> okay. Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. Okay. Alright. And thanks for the advice. Yo. Oh. Kori Kuchasan. This is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? <laughs> Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement. Boom! Something clearly doesn't add up. Attention! Okay. <laughs> Dear me, have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. Uh, not so. Remember, Ryunosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There is surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale-faced people who could possibly- <laughs> This medical report card has nothing to do with the case? Do you really believe that? Well, that outburst half petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hota Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? <laughs> Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted? What's this now? Yeah, that's right. Bitches, and furthermore, <laughs> if I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating? Yeah, especially steak. Just, just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat? So what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that... That can't... 
Bitch is written right there. Korikuta san. What boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more? <laughs> you have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. Because the victim, as we now know, had just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthetic. <laughs> Expertly done. <laughs> Wow. Oh, what's he got to say? You little upstart? <laughs> okay. What does that even mean? These are baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Objection! Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. <laughs> that is so lame. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Ryanosuke? Mm, yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves it one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beefsteak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel, oh, that, that means me, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of, your turning this, of you turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... Uh... Well, it can't be the... Well, can it be the two? No, it's an as-yet-unknown third party. Has to be. Yeah, okay. Has to be. Obviously, it can only have been someone who was... Someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person. Yes! <laughs> Just going back and forth. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a, of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. I wonder if it was the sergeant. Because he said he was, like, eating steak, right? We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through our ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Whoa, Kazuma. Are you insane? You you would take on the government? Uh, hell yeah we would! Don't worry, counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. Those two witnesses in the stand. That's right. Shady motherfuckers. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> we have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit in the m murder? <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> That's right. Hold it. Negative. There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. Wait, what tactical meeting? I was just following orders. Whose orders? That's right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they told us. 
Oh. Oh. What? What did you just say, Korikuta-san? Oh, um, no. Oh, he fucked up. You were just following orders? Now hold on, I was, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman? Dude. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> what a cliffhanger! Okay, we'll figure it out. What he meant by that in the next episode. Okay, in the next episode. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>